Welcome back VG Squad. Today we are talking about something that could affect a lot of German households in 2025. The end of traffic light collision or ample government and what it means for your finances. Many could soon end up with less money in their pocket. I will break it down with some simple examples so it's easy for you to understand. If you are new to this channel, myself Priya, I do make videos lot about Germany and we also provide consultations on housing loan, personal loan, finances, taxes, everything. If you want to book an one to one appointment, please book the link which is given in the description. I will see you there and without further delay, come let's get started. What's happening in Germany right now? Recently, the government's collision called the Ample or a traffic light collision could not agree on certain financial policies, particularly the debt break. This disagreement led to a scenario where the finance minister Christine Linda was let go. For people who did not know the reason behind the collapse of traffic light government here is a simple guess. Germany's political party are currently divided by significant differences. SPD and Green Party focuses on increased social welfare and FDP focuses on opposite to earth. Currently, the 2025 budget remains open. According to SPD, Olaf Scholz stresses borrowing more money to fuel the economy. And on the other hand, the finance minister is against borrowing and promotes cuts in spending such a wide ideological gaps lead to a tough decision for any party. As the finance minister and his party members left the coalition government, there are many policies like private pension plan, child benefits, tax-free allowance get postponed or even can be dropped. This includes Steuerfurt and Wecklungsgrätzeits or the tax development law which is designed to help protect taxpayers from something known as cold progression. So what is cold progression? The name may sound complicated, right? But here is a simple example to make it clear. Imagine you get a small hike of 100 euros a month in your job. But with the rising inflation, the cost of living also goes up. So the extra 100 euros doesn't actually give you any more buying power. As your salary was raised, you get into a higher tax bracket. Higher inflation not only takes most of your money, but you're also paying more in taxes. This is what called as coal progression. What does the law aim to do? The law in question was supposed to help. It proposes rising tax-free threshold like Grundfreibetrag, Kindergeld, Kinderfreibetrag. For the upcoming year, there was a plan to increase Grundfreibetrag and Kinderfreibetrag. Grundfreibetrag in English, it's called as tax-free allowance, up to which a person do not pay a taxes. The basic tax-free amount for individuals would rise by 300 euros in 2025 and another 252 euros in 2026. Secondly, Kinderfreibetrag. For families, the child allowance would go up by 60 euros in 2025 and another 156 euros in 2026. Why does this matter? If this law doesn't pass, we could see people losing out on these benefits. That's particularly tough in time when the cost for everything like groceries to utilities are climbing. And without ad adjustments of coal progression, many might find that their net income, what that actually takes home is feel smaller. In addition to the above changes, there were also plans for changes to tax classes as well. The law also aimed to simplify tax classes. Right now, married couples in Germany often fall into tax classes 3 and 5, where one spouse has the higher tax rate and the other person have lower tax rate. Our idea is to replace this with a factor model that could allow couples to access their funds more evenly. It would not necessarily lower taxes, but it would give married couples a bit more flexibility with their income. So what's the question now? Will these changes happen? It's uncertain. 
this tax law will still need to go through a parliament and without the coalition agreement, it's up in the air. Some believe the government might separate the coal progression rules and pass them in different bill. But there is no guarantee. Before ending this video, I would like to know what is your opinion on this law and how it affects your personal scenario. Please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you find this video is useful, please do share this video to your friend circle and give a thumbs up. And please do encourage us by subscribing this channel. I will see you in yet another interesting video. Until bye bye from Vanakam, Germany. Priya, bye bye VG squad.